So, we're going to be checking out Bionic Commando. Uh, this is the uh, American version first. Now, I did test it on Vice, set to PAL, and it did work with True Drive emulation turned off, obviously. However, it hasn't done anything yet. There's some trainer options. I just press no to everything and press space and return. And the green light has come on on the SD Tysi. So, uh, yeah, I see, I don't remember trainer options. That's like a 10 second operation, I see. You just put vice in walk mode, sound uh, playback turned off because it speeds it up by about at least five times at walk speed. You get like 15, 20, 30,000 percent. And uh, so, yeah, you know, I'll just be bashing the keys away so I, I won't actually remember it. Can't blame the bologna sandwiches for that. Now, obviously, in my peak health, which uh, for humans is around the age of 19 or 20, it's all Daniel after that, mate. Well, the screen has gone green. The green screen effects. Wuff, wuff, wuff. Yeah, anyway. Now a bit more of this sandwich in this slightly stale bread. Nice, right, I'm chewy bread boy. about as chewy as the beef because the beef is cooked properly alas poor Osiris no more Sunday dinners I refuse refuse that's a bit weird because the F7 key works here so uh, is it actually F7 on a uh, raid over Moscow? I'll have to look back at one of my videos because uh, I think John Gage commented and said it or something. But it's finding the video because I wouldn't have done, would have been one of those Dawn of Commodore things I'll do. All the keys are working now. Maybe the summer heat is helping. It's a shit loader. There's been no sound effects so far. Hey! Saving the rest of the cider, really. Now, the fan is blowing on me at minimal speed. It feels okay, temperature feels okay. It doesn't mean the room has cooled down yet. I've only had the projector on two and a half hours. Playing uh, C64 games in the tail end of a thunderstorm. I think we can have quite a few thunderstorms this year. I'm hoping we're going to get a traditional summer where we don't get 33, 34, 32, 31 degrees and only ever one day of 30 degrees, followed by a very cold night. I've never played the arcade game, so I'm just pointing that out now. How'd you get up then? There you go, you just don't press fire again. That's fire. They don't feel very action packed. Oh, you can't get them where you're grappling hot. They take quite a lot of heat, so. so.
don't know why I wanted to swing over there. It's going to be important later anyway. I've run out of things to throw at them. That's the problem, isn't it? He's just stopped it. What am I supposed to do if he just stops it then? I presume you have to go further down. How can he be falling through the dirt? That's weird. See, I haven't got any more of them things. Uh, I don't actually like this game. And they follow you. What is that thing there that just killed me? How would you go around it anyway? Nah, I don't like that. We'll see if the, uh, you know, the British version is uh, more playable. Like I said, I've never played the arcade game. Might, might not be my cup of tea, perhaps, maybe. Who knows, sir? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? version that would have been on sale for my uh, enjoyment should I choose to uh, invest mm. now, I've got two lightning loops one's in the polystyrene and the other one's got the full cardboard box with it as well I think either of them have instructions though. I wasn't really collecting this stuff. I, I probably bought that 15 years ago because I thought, well, uh, I used to have one as a kid. Just had to just buy one, put it up on the shelf, remind you. Remind me of what though? That's a problem now. I've got vague memories of playing the uh, Star Trek controlled space flight thingy. No, 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 no. Okay. Okie dokie, sure. That means DKI is loading something or crashed and left a green light on on the STD. You'll never know, sir, possibly. You may know. Hmm. So it's going to be limited to about two hours of projector time in the evening at a time. The music's better. I think the graphics are better. Yeah, see, that's what I was remembering. Scrolling is faster. Yeah, this version's definitely better. No, I'll describe the music as fun. What is that thing though? I don't understand what that thing is. Uh, you can't move when you're falling. Ah, oh, come on, man. Oh, the music's going a bit weird there. So I don't know what you're supposed to do. Because it won't, it doesn't want you to drop down there. I'm pretty sure I'll give it another go. I don't get this game.
Maybe we're supposed to go this way in the first place. No, that don't lead you anywhere. Oh, you have to blow it up, right, okay. I thought that was a power-up to collect. See, I wish you could at least influence your left and right business. No, you can't go down there. So. You got to collect everything, is that what's going on here? Ah, come on. Where's that thing there, though? Can't fire down. How would you get that thing? I don't even know if you have to get it. Yeah, the music's much better. There we go. Right, okay. What are these things? Are they just decoration? shouldn't have done that. So I'm getting an idea for the game. It's not really my kind of game now. But back then I probably would have played this. All I remember is just what a shit show the Amiga version was. Because it was a direct port of uh, the very mediocre 16 colour Atari ST version. Well, he's got a bloody bazooka, in it? So at least we're, uh... Oh, it's bloody two of them. Takes a lot of shot. Fuck, you know, there's a lot of them in there. Just like the exit. Ooh, bloody hell. let me reach that one. All oh, right. So you set off the uh, bees. That's what they're there for. Leap of faith. So risky. I thought I was going to get done in by the spikes. Are those things I can actually pick up because I tried to fly over it. And it didn't really happen. Uh, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go actually. Ah, uh, come on. So I don't know what you're supposed to do, okay. Go down here and uh... I couldn't have been in there, but I could have been on this side, so... Oof. Yeah, that's not a bad game, actually. Pretty funky music. Uh, the game's not bad, graphics are not bad, coding's not bad. Is it as good as the arcade machine? Well, I don't know if it's the kind of arcade machine I would have played. So, that's really the thing. But I think, I think on balance, you have to say, if you like the arcade game, 
That's probably, from what I know of the arcade game, it's probably a pretty good uh, translation. Now, if you're in America, oh, boo hoo sucks to be you in it. Uh, how can I play Impossible Mission for like two minutes and then tell you it's all right? It's all right? Ain't got instructions for California games, so I suppose it's Solomon's Key. go plus 4H but that's nostalgia really so even on single loading games sometimes they cock up mate they cock up in it they get the cock and they stick it up there yeah anyway I'm pressing the end key and I can't see any difference going on. Ah, right, I see. Right, okay. I'm going to enable level skip. Yeah, F7 is working fine. Uh, how do you uh, exit this section then? Okay then. It's not loading yet. Which one am I then? Ah, right here, there we go. How'd you get up there then? Right, that's what you've got to do. You've got to make blocks. But if you're too close, you can't do that. Right, okay, that's a problem. Been saying you have to get that. I don't know if you have to get everything else. Or... Actually, I want to go in here, don't I? Do we have to get up there now? I think we do actually. Oh yes, mustn't touch the uh, gas flames. That's why they're uh, blue and green like that. Clearly the programmer had some respect for food.
I killed him last time. How did I kill him? Do you have to get him off the thing and make him drop? These are not really my kind of games anymore, I have to say. Right, that's how you kill him. But I don't actually have to go in there actually, so that was a waste of time. The graphics are so titchy for your guy, they're, they're really... You need a lot of talent to make them look useful. make it all the way up there isn't it uh, it's probably worth going in that thing then isn't it up there you have to do it all again I don't like that The way it chooses exactly which block, I can't say I like that. I'm sure there's a time here, yeah, there is a time there actually. Ooh. Yeah, that business I don't like. It's probably useful for other things, but... Okay. Do it this time, will you? Go away, mate. So I know what you've got to do, it's quite tricky. Yeah, your graphics are kind of indistinct, I must admit. Ooh! That's no good, mate. That's no good, innit? I don't think I selected unlimited lives or anything like that. Okay, that's the exit. So, what we've got to do there is... Uh, that one was a lot easier, so... So, there's the key, actually. So. Bell sounds are really good. Madame Commodore. Ah, no, I can't go to do it like that. Ah, it's not a bad game. I take it back. I did have that on the Atari ST, though. I don't think I had it on the Amiga, but my mate who was trying to stop me playing C64 games. Fuck, you know, as soon as he got an ST about a year after me, he'd like written off to every advert for like, you know, pen pals wanted. I uh, wouldn't actually specifically say to swap Atari ST games. If you're lucky, they might say lists, but uh, let's be honest, we all knew what the hell was going on. So, is there anything else we can play on Zap Sizzlers? Collection Volume 1. So, not really, but I think it is a good compilation. 
I would have been pr probably preferred Impossible Mission 1. Uh, people say California Games is quite good, and by people, I don't mean spastics on Twitter. I mean people like Gans Teeth. Uh, I think he even said to me it was his favourite of the Epix uh, games, you know, as in Summer, Winter, Summer Games 2, World, California. I think that's a lot, actually. Uh, I can't remember if I had Winter Games. I don't think I did. I seem to have a memory of telling people that I didn't have it. Just see. Couldn't actually tell you. Now, if I watched my uh, video recording uh, the SX64 screen for World Games, I actually talk about what I remember about buying that game. It would be interesting if I watched that now, like two years later. Ah, right, back in, chips. Why'd you, why'd you sit where I've got a fucking uh, sit, mate? Sit, rep. I'm sitting in your place. Now, I would have needed to go to the off-license and get more tobacco a long time ago. So we're now 100% on the free tobacco. If you don't know what that is, you have to go back quite a few episodes. Ooh, talking about going back in time, saw a new McDonald's advert and uh, had Dexter Fletcher on it again. So he's back. May have been back for Yonks, but it's the first time I've heard him do a McDonald's advert for a very long time. A new one, that is. And old one. Hours on YouTube watching McDonald's videos with Dexter Fletcher. Check out those funky instruments, Magda. Funkinino instruments. We love them, so love them. to uh, YouTube no one ever mentions my channel because uh, you have to do that specific thing that highly annoying thing where you hit the plus key so when I'm putting up like a video where it says like who dares wins one plus two as soon as you type the plus all this shit comes up there you go Looking good so far, yeah, see the trouble with uh, Epix games is they're all disc loading and if they ain't been cracked, same with uh, Cinema Wear after Defender of the Crown. They're all designed to be multi-load disc games. 
This kind of reminds me much more of the uh, Seeker Master System version. I don't know what the colours are coming out like because we've uh, we've messed about with the settings, isn't it? Stop messing about, Mad Commodore. Yeah, all the Coke cans are empty, so no fear of uh, fag ash in the old ding ding. Yeah, it's going up a long way. I prefer the sound effects on the first one. These are okay. I didn't set any trainer options or no. Oh, he walked straight across. I didn't know that, see. So it's pretty much the same game from what I can tell. So if you never had the first one, would you care? Probably not, actually. I can't tell which ones it allows you to go in. There we go. I think all the rooms are the same colour scheme. I think that's why I don't like this game. Yeah, everything is the same light blue, purple, cyan. Whereas the original, because some of the rooms were a different colour, you might actually remember if you'd been in them. So it's not an aesthetic thing at, at all. It's, um, I can't show you any more of this game without spending a half hour video actually trying to play it properly. So I don't think it's as good as the uh, prequel. But uh, I think it's an okay game, so... You know, I'm going to try having a quick go of California games. Maybe there's some event that I'll be able to work out the controls intuitively. But honestly, even if you had Summer Games 2, which is my favourite, if you haven't got the instructions with the controls right there to read, which is the only way I can do it, I don't have a computer that goes on the internet anymore. Sorry, a laptop that goes, for some reason it's decided it's just not going to connect. You can see the Wi-Fi network, it just won't connect to them. took quite a while to find a version of California games that even worked with the SD to IC so I'm not interested in trainer options on that oh there was uh, some sort of show jumping horse game I wanted to try uh, what publisher was I updating when I saw that screenshot because I thought I haven't played that I'm looking for new horse animations. Did Ikari or Ikari of Remember, did he die? Because uh, I, I was trying out one crack and it said in, in memory of Ikari. Uh, disable. Skip title screen now. Load or reset. Hi, reset them. Reset them, boy. I don't want to compete against the cracker. Well, they probably don't play games that long. I'll tell you what it was like with the Amiga. I'd go around my mate's house, who was actually my cousin. Hey, Louie, Louie. Okay, we leave this music going. Yeah, my cousin, I think it was a second cousin though, possibly third cousin, I don't know, he wasn't a first cousin. And uh, he'd have his Amiga 500, I had an Amiga 1000, this is circa 1988, 89, I think actually, I think, 
Yeah, I think it was a year after I got an Amiga. And I got my Amiga quite late in 87, so... Yeah, I gotta feel sorry for my second cousin because uh, we both got a Vic 20 for Christmas 1983. And uh, my Vic 20 stopped working after about three months. And I said to my dad, now we should get the uh, Commodore 64. The Vic 20 is limiting for my educational purposes, there's not enough memory. Something like that. Anyway, he bought that bullshit. I've done that story to death. I'm not going to forget that one. Uh, but anyway, my cousin was stuck with a VIC-20 for like three, four years. So he had a C60. He got a C64 around the time Sanction came out, maybe. Before Delta, because he loved Delta and Armour Light. But we'd go around, I'd go around there in my car, which was a Cavalier SRI hatchback, 1983 uh, top half white, bottom half black very cool wheels actually and uh, I think I'd bring around my external drive and uh, anyway we had uh, a stack of discs on the external drive and uh, another stack of discs on these A500 and we'd go through all the uh, cracks that we'd got so we'd do like his first or mine first so I'd do it in like two goes so I'd actually load up the game and be like oh look I've got this this week and uh, okay let's give this a go and uh, most of the time the games were shit I'm like yes, they could have been better programmers and all this or 16 colour graphics and uh, half the time I wouldn't even copy this stuff like, this is shit I'm not going to play this what's the point of having it you might copy it because you know someone else is going to want it as a swap but not because you like the game so yeah so it'd be a case of uh, we'd spend quite a long time going through all the discs that we'd received in the post that week. So I used to go around there every Sunday. And uh, I think he was like a year or two younger than me. So this was when I was going to the pub and he wasn't. So, so yeah, uh, that was what it was like really. X copy, 90 minute session on X copy, and then it always seemed to be the same games. So it was like, let's have a go of Speedball 2, two players, or Kick Off 2, or was it Goal? It wasn't Sensi, I didn't like them. And he didn't like them either, so that's not. Let's try competing in one event. Because we've got to test the disc image anyway. Oh no, okay, mad. Casio, yeah, it's gone. And they made the uh, infamous calculator watch. There is no player two. Is this correct? Yeah. I think I remember seeing some pet ski instructions from this crack actually I had to do the half pipe doesn't mean I remember the actual instructions so so yeah that's what it was actually like around 1989 early 1990 it'd be like uh, stacks of uh, discs would arrive in the post you'd get about between 10 and 20 in each uh, jiffy bag and uh, when they did arrive, maximum I could get is probably four. I only really had four contacts. One was called Mestopheles, which I believe is a, a Greek name, possibly in Greek mythology. Uh, I was Count Z, or Count Z if you're in America.
Yeah, there's uh, specific things you have to do. Yeah, see, this is a problem with this game. As so I can only really rate the graphics, actually. Is it fire and left? I know you, if you're going up this pipe, you've got to push that way, but there's obviously something else you have to do as well. Oh, crap. Well, at least the loading is not too bad. Now, obviously, on summer games too, which I loved, and probably world games, so I'd have to write down, you know, the tape counter things for each thing. I think it was split over two tapes actually. Two sides of a tape. They're well, not two tapes. So uh, it would tell you to turn the tape over, but obviously, depending what event you picked. Ah, uh, yeah, this is correct, yeah. I think we'll try the surfing. Uh, all I can really do is look at the graphics at the moment. I think most of the games up to California games, uh, the Epix ones, so summer games onwards up to California, I think they do sort of like all play the same. It is a matter of you have to know what you're supposed to be doing on the controls. And then you have to get used to them. Like you have, I think on the cycling you have to rotate the joystick, so you have to do up, up and left, left, left and down, down, down and right. Yeah, all the other way round. Can't remember, but it's definitely that sort of circular motion going on there. Now I don't know how long my free tobacco is going to last, but like I said. There'll be a lot of C64 games played, so... See, I don't know what you're supposed to do. Alright, maybe this is like... Up and down like this. Ooh! You're not allowed to go above the water? How do you avoid the... Uh, waves then? Because they're going to get you. The graphics are sort of nice in the typical Epix fashion. I wonder what this section is like on the Amstrad then. I'm not going to say the pathetic Amstrad. I can't blame the, uh, the fucking uh, Amstrad community for the machine. So there's definitely something you have to do to survive. I thought that was like an alarm outside. <laughs> really, if you go up the water even a little bit. Maybe I should have picked the Kawasaki team. So I don't think the graphics are quite as good as um, 